Hey guys, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. Alright, here we go. We're going to do some more on our Chronic Pain ABCs. And let's see where we're at. I went, the other day I was sitting here and I was actually talking on the phone. And I went through and I just took a Sharpie and went around all my letters like I said I was going to do. So now I can actually see them. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Here's our H tag. All right, we're going to start on the back as usual. Let's see. I'm trying to decide, do I want to put gesso on it? Yeah, today I'm in a gesso mood. So let's put some gesso on this. And we're going to talk about our H words today. Hmm. Um, and I'm sure there are many, many, many more words. And, you know, I love it when you guys let me know what you add to your word list. Um, but mine for H, the very first one is going to be hurt. And that is because, you know, I'm a chronic pain survivor and, um, yeah, it hurts. I actually, last night, um, oh man, my muscle spasms were going crazy. New ones in new spots. And it was just extremely, extremely painful. So that's going to be our first word is hurt. And, you know, I looked it up in the dictionary because, you know, I wanted to. <laughs> and, you know, hurt is to cause bodily injury. You know, you feel pain in a body part or it can be mental hurt, um, whether it be, you know, um, depression or um, bipolar or PTSD or whatever. Those are all types of hurt as well. And... Um, yeah, so hurt does not just mean, ouch, you know, I hurt my body. There's other types as well. Let me dry this real quick. I hope you guys can't hear my fans going. I have one going there and my AC is going. I hope it's not picking up. Let me dry this really quick. It's not all the way dry, but that's fine. Okay, so what colors are we going to play with today? Let's play with some color shift paints. I've got all kinds of stuff out here. My ruler that I never use. Um, so I just saw this tape, decided I wanted to use it. So we're going to throw some color shift paints on here and play with them. So yeah, like I said, the first word is hurt, and um, I'm in pain 24-7. It doesn't ever go away. Some days it gets worse. Um, some days it's, you know, livable. Um, but mostly it's just pretty rough. So let me put this here. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just throwing this tape on here just because I wanted to give it a little texture. All right, so that's on there. So let's grab some color shift. Oh, how about this yellow? This yellow looks interesting. And this is that paint that you, when you look at it um, in a different way, it shifts color. It'll be either yellow or green or, um, you know what, let's do this. Let's take the brayer. Let's just brayer our color shift paint. And let's take another color. Let's go with the green. It says, this one is called Yellow Flash, and this is Green Flash. You can pick these up, I think, in Michael's is where I got mine. I'm just going to put a little bit here and there. And I'm just going to... Ooh, it's coming off with the gesso. That's all right. Right? Because these are just plays. We're, we're just playing, talking about the words, and doing our chronic pain tags. All right, I'm going to dry that up really quick. I'll be right back. Okay, I want to show you guys something. I'm actually going to see if I can bring this down. See how it's got the little bumps there? If you take your heat gun, okay, I put the paint over it, and if you take your heat gun and you heat it, right, 
what it's going to do is it's going to pop up those little bumps. And then what you need to do is just kind of slowly leave them. I don't know if it's going to do it anymore. I don't think it will. Let's try this one. No, it's already done, I don't think. Yeah, no. Um, if you take your heat gun and you just go real slow over that and you get it really hot and then you slowly move your heat gun away so that it dries standing up like that, that's how you can get that texture. Isn't that cool? And that's through that tape. And this one moved on me, but that's okay. All right, let me bring you back out. Sorry. I just want to show you that. It's really cool. I enjoy getting those little bumps on here. And you, the biggest thing you have to be careful of, is, especially when you have a heat gun like this, is that you don't catch the paper on fire because if you get it too hot, you probably could start it on fire. So I'm just really careful about it. I really keep my eye on it when I'm doing it, and then it gives me that texture, which I think is really cool. So, all right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to play with some stencils. Okay, we've got our color shift paints. Let's find something different. Let's put on, let's use some Dina Wakely Ocean. Why not? It's here in front of me. So we'll use that. I, You see, all I have to do is open a thing of paint and I get paint on me. It's crazy. All right, so we talked about hurt real quick. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm constantly hurting, so that's just one of mine and it can be both physical and it can be uh, mental as well it doesn't have to just you know be a pain a, a literal pain um, another one of my words is hot I don't know about you guys but let me tell you sometimes my joints feel like they are literally on fire and it just gets so my body, it feels like my body is just really, really hot, and I don't like that feeling, but it happens. Let's see, what else can I put on here? I'm just looking for a different stencil. Let's choose this one. So, um, you know, that's another word. Um, I don't really want to say hot flashes because it's not really hot flashes. That's not what causes me pain. Um, you know, or is one of my H word. It's just my, okay. One of my symptoms is the bottoms of my feet will feel like they should be beat red, almost like they should be burnt on the bottoms and, um, they hurt and they're hot. They just, they feel really, really hot. So that's one of my H words. Let's see. What's another one? Um, this is a word that takes, if you go from, if it's not something you're born with and it's something that happens via an accident, this word takes an awful lot of time to accept, and that is handicap. Um, I don't know about you guys, but for the longest time, I wouldn't say, well, I'm handicapped. I would say, well, yeah, I'm disabled, but... Um, you know, I had an accident or, and it takes a lot to put yourself and to accept yourself in the category of being handicapped. And handicapped doesn't just mean that, you know, um, you have a bum leg or, or you're in a wheelchair per se, right? That's not all, what handicap is all about. Handicap can be, you know, um, what, what I am. I can't, I'm not, I'm not in a wheelchair. Are there days I use a wheelchair? Absolutely. Um, does that mean because I'm not in a wheelchair that I'm not handicapped? No. That just means I'm having a decent day and I can um, go without the wheelchair. Sometimes I have to use what I call my scoot and do. It's a motorized scooter. I call it scoot and do. And, you know, depending on where I go and what I'm doing, I may have to use my scoot and do because there's a lot of walking involved. Um, there's days that, you know, I just plain can't walk. And I'll ask my husband, will you please push me, you know, in the wheelchair? And he, he will, thank goodness. He has no problems doing that. I'm just going to use up my extra ink on here. 
how much extra ink was on there after I already printed. Anyways, um, so yeah, handicap is very difficult. Um, it takes a lot to accept it. Um, the feelings are hard. It's hard to say, yeah, I'm handicapped. You don't. It, it's almost like there's a stigma against that word. You know, like, oh my gosh, you're handicapped. You know, it, it, it's. I don't know how to explain it, but it's almost like there's a stigma. Like, you know, you shouldn't be that way. And and really, you don't have any say in it. Um, one of the quotes that I I've been using a lot uh, lately, and and it really makes so much sense to me is I didn't choose this it chose me um, I didn't choose to get hurt and be in this situation I don't think that's gonna work because it's not really gonna show up is it eh, we'll put it on there why not um, I, you know I didn't choose to get hurt I didn't say hey you know I don't want to work you know the rest of my life I don't want to do I didn't say that um, if I had my way, I mean, even after the accident, I was like, okay, you know, come on, let's get surgery done. Let's fix me. I want to go back to work. Fix me. I'm going back to work. Yeah, no, that didn't happen. And at this point, there is no fix. But, um, you know, you don't, you don't choose to be in this situation. So why... Um, why there's such a stigma on the word handicap and on you know the meaning behind handicap that I don't know now maybe it's just me maybe I'm the one that thinks there's a stigma behind it but to me it feels like that's a like a bad word kind of like depression you know it's something that you know is out there but let's not talk about it because you know can't talk about it and you know being handicapped, there's so much more to the people that are dealing with this situation, and it's not their fault. It really isn't. Right, I got stuff stuck to me. All right, how am I going to put my words on here? I've got hurt, handicap, and hot. Now, I know you guys are going to find a lot more words, um, and you'll definitely come back to me with them, which is awesome. Let's do this. I'm going to use my little handy dander, handy dandy Dymo printer. Got this at Walmart. I think I told you guys this before. My husband used it down in his shop um, when he had a business. And I stole it from him. All right, handicap. You might hear really loud noises here shortly because. It looks like it's going to pour outside. Hope not, but it looks like it. Just waiting for the, for my word. My words. Hot, hurt, and handicap. Um, you know, another word is humble. I'll tell you, when you, you get really humbled when something like this happens to you. Um, and you really start to think about um, the little things in life. You start to appreciate the little things more in life. And you, you look at different, you look at life different. It actually humbles you. Oh, there's the thing that says life. I don't like that on there, though. Here's a runny babbit. Let's put the runny babbit on here. I like runny babbits. These are stickers that I got. I use these normally in my journals. Um, but yeah, I enjoy. I enjoy using these stickers. Come on. Oops. I just bent the runny babbits here. Alright, here we go. Really bad, but there. We're going to put our words down through here. Oh, hear the thunder. Thunder and rain. And it's all good. The word hot. Hot. Oh, can we even see them? Not really. 
I can't see our words. That's all right. We know they're there, right? We know they're there. It's all good. I'm gonna put, I'll do this one. We'll put a handicap like that. And we'll put her up here. Her pot and handicap. Kind of like it. It's very simple. Um, oops, get out of the way. Very simple. I love my bunny. Let's take the Stabilo. Let's go around the bunny a little bit and just kind of darken. Oops, get on there, bunny. Darken it up. Doo -doo. And my water brush. I have found the best place to keep my markers. I used to have a twirly thing on my desk. Oh, it was just annoying me. It was taking up too much room. And I went, um, I think on Amazon, and I ordered cups to hang off the side of my cart. Oh my gosh, what a great place to keep my pens. They're off my desk. They're not in my way. They're handy whenever I want them. I just love it. They're making me happy. All right, let's take... Oop, thundering. Let's take our hurt. And let's just bring it out a little bit in our hot and our handicap. Yeah, I'm really interested in seeing what kind of words you guys have for this. Well, that's an awful busy tag, isn't it? Crazy. Anyways, um, I, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what you guys have. And... Um, Let's move this. Let's get out our stencils again. I like this one. Let's try this one. We're going to do this the whole thing. And you know, I hope you guys enjoy doing these tags. To me, it's just, just a nice place to sit and play and yet to, you know, talk about something that... Something's clicking up here. Um talk about something that's <laughs> all right that's better um near and dear you know to a lot of our hearts because we have to live it so something's gonna have to come down up on my I've got a bunch of stuff hanging here on my camera up that way and something's clunking up there so we're gonna get rid of that but yeah, so I enjoy doing these. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Hmm. Um, so I enjoy doing these tags and just having fun with it. Oh, I like this. Well, let's do this. First, I'm going to play with this. There's my marker. Right here. I'm just going to play. Alright, so this is my happy side, and you know, like I said, I talk about um, the words that I consider like bad words. Not really bad, just sometimes they're words that you have a difficult time um, understanding or accepting, like the word handicap. And you know, when people ask you all the time, you know, how are you feeling? I hurt. I mean, I, I can't not say that because it's just the way it is. It's the way life is. But um, now what do I do about those things? Honestly, there's one word that I use for an H word. And that is hug. I will go to my hubs and I just tell him I need a hug. And he will basically stand or sit and hold me as long as I need because I just need to have that I don't know that that comfort that the gentleness the um, the connection the ability to feel that somebody else gets it and they understand and they care so yeah that's what I do I hug I don't want to do that I do want to put this heart on here and I want to do it so that 
to use the big one. Oh, can you hear that? <laughs> Hopefully my lights won't go out. Um, let's see. Right there. I want a dark, dark red. Let's see. What do we got here? Cranberry wine. That sounds good, doesn't it? Sounds dark. Ugh. So there's my cranberry wine. Ooh, I like it. It's not raining yet, but boy, it's thundering out there. I don't know what that is up there, but that has to stop. So, so yeah, um... You know, I don't know if you have somebody that you can go to, but, you know, when you're feeling that way, go ask them just for a hug. You don't have to ask them to do anything for you. You don't have to ask them, you know, to fetch this or fetch that or fix this or fix that. Just ask them for a hug. And, you know, sometimes that hug is all you really need. At least I know sometimes that's all I really need. Phones. I gotta shut that off. Hold on. Hold on. I like it. Let's put another one. Let's put another hug up here. Why not? Oops, I need more paint. So yeah, if you can, you know, like I said, talk to your a friend, whoever. It doesn't have to be a spouse or, you know, preferably not a stranger, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, stop. Talk to, you know, when you see somebody, whether it's your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your best friend, you know. Maybe it's a nurse that takes care of you all the time, and maybe you just need that hug. Ask for a hug. Don't be shy. Sometimes that's what we have to have. And I've got more paint on me again. Crazy. All right. Let me dry this real quick. Hold on. All right, so I dried this up, and I got out some of my fiber here that I want. And... I am going to, again, just kind of outline my heart here. And the reason I'm outlining my hearts is because I think hugs are given from the heart, don't you? I do. All right, now I'm going to grab my white, almost dead pen. And I'm going to write hugs in here. because we all need hugs. Looks kind of like I wrote hugs in there. And then, I'm gonna take a white pen. There we go. Get it mixed up a little bit. This one's almost empty. I keep nursing a little bit out of it here and there. fun, isn't it? I really enjoy playing with these tags. Whoops! I just messed that up. Cindy, Cindy, Cindy. Alright, so there is our good side of our tag, which is hugs. I'm going to dry these dots, um, and then after I do that, 
we'll go ahead and get our string put on here and we'll put them in our book and I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's um, very sweet and simple tag uh, first side we've got our hurt our hot and our handicap okay and this side we need hugs we need lots and lots of hugs so I hope you guys have enjoyed as always like comment share subscribe give me a thumbs up and I can't wait to see your tags I've been really really enjoying um, looking at your tags as you're making them so uh, definitely continue to share and as always have fun that's what life's all about and happy creating I'll talk to you next week thanks for watching bye